which will be second in the second problem in here a sewer of uh, 0.6 diameter uh, laid at a gradient of 1 in 400 so that is wind runs full so uh, 0.6 diameter okay so not exactly right uh, consider this is an exact circular circuit here the whatever water is there that is being uh, running fully okay mm? it has been running fully mm? the gradient is 1 in 400 so you can see here 1 in 400 uh, the value they are given as 1 in 400 crimps and brogues formula you have to use mm? calculate the velocity of the flow and the discharge q and v you have to determine what you have to determine q and v you this uh, both you have to determine q and v you have to determine so so brooks formula you have to remember okay if you remember that the problem is solved so first whatever before solving anything so see that whether they ask a manning's formula or brooks formula or uh, whether any other uh, formula whichever they ask you have to remember either Chedi's formula kutas formula manning's formula so these are the different formulas are there you have to remember which i am explained in the previous video in the previous classes go through it so crimps and brooks formula mm, so v is equal to 83.47 r to power of 2 by 3 s to power of 1 by 2 so manning's formula and brooks formula there is only one change that is in manning's formula v is equal to 1 by n into r to power of uh, 2 by 3 uh, and s to power of 1 by 2 okay 2 by 3 uh, and uh, r to power of s yes, 1 by 2 okay this is the manning's formula okay so in brooks formula here 83.47 r to power of 2 by 3 s yes, to power of 1 by 2 only thing you have to change is this 1 by n either you have to put 1 by n or 83.47 so if you remember uh, uh, Manning's formula you 1 by n only you remember if, if they ask the Brooks formula uh, Crimson and the Brooks formula instead of 1 by n you replace 83.47 so remember this value that's all sufficient okay hmm? so that's what here yeah. Brooks and the Crimson formula use 83.47 r to power of 2 by 3 is to power of 1 by 2 okay next uh, the r so it is running full so r value you have to determine so r is d by 4 okay for a circular running for the full okay uh, circular if it is a running fully means the hydraulic mean depth so it has been d by 4 okay depth divided by 4 uh, if it is not uh, running fully means if any i told in a previous formula only uh, the hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth if it is a running fully means it is d by 4 okay so go through previous uh, videos previous classes you will come to know that when any circular section if it is uh, running fully means mean hydraulic depth so that is r r is d by 4 okay depth is uh, sorry depth divided by 4 hmm. so same formula we have been used i uh, the uh, because first uh, i told uh, you put the formula uh, brooks and uh, crimson and brooks formula that is 83.47 r to power of 2 by 3 and s to power of 1 by 2 what is r r is the mean hydraulic depth this is a slope slope they have given yes 1 by 400 they have given okay slope they have given only is r r you have to determine so r to determine the r so they told us they it is running fully when it is running fully you have to use r is equal to d by 4 so depth they given as uh, 0.6 meter uh, right depth as 0.6 meter uh, depth as uh, 0.6 meter here okay here you write it as uh, 0 0.6 0 0.6 divided by 4 so mean hydraulic depth is you will get as 0.15 meter okay so now r value also r value also you data you know and uh, yes also they know they are given as 1 in 1 in 400 okay 1 in 400 that is slope they have given okay next simplify uh, just substitute the value of uh, mean hydraulic depth as uh, 0.15 and uh, slope as 1.1 1 .1 divided by 400 so just here see here 
uh, formula is here r value you have determined that is 0.15 substitute the r value here okay mm -hmm. and yes value yes value they are given as 1 by 400 you substitute that 1 by 400 okay uh, take the calculator and use this okay in the calculator uh, what you have to do is it is a 0.15 so you have to simplify this first you have to do this one so 0.15 to power of 2 3 means what you have to do is cube root of cube root of point point one five square okay so you have to do point one five of square cube root you have to do it don't forget okay next uh, uh, one by four hundred uh one by two okay that is root square root of one by four hundred square root of one by so one by four hundred One by four hundred. Okay, mm. so that is what uh, you do. If you do this, then you will get velocity as one point one seven eight meter per second. So you know that Q is equal to uh, this uh, a into v. Mm. A it is pi by four, pi by uh, pi by uh, pi by four d square. Okay, so pi by four d square d is they want to give one diameter as point six. Uh, so pi by four point six square. So this is nothing but area okay so discharge is equal to i told q is equal to so when it is running fully you have to use capital a q so q is equal to uh, sorry a into v okay so area you can write it as pi d square divided by 4 pi d square by 4 so v is velocity okay so whatever you have determined you write it as v okay so d value here whatever d is there d is 0 0.6 square so that's what it has been uh, it has been written here okay velocity is we just we determined that as 1.178 okay that's what here we are written so if you calculate all this uh, that's what here q is equal to 1 point sorry v is equal to 1.178 and uh, this uh, uh, discharge discharge if you calculate all this so finally you will get the discharge of point 333 cubics okay so if you multiple with cubics if you multiple with a thousand you will get three thousand three hundred and thirty three liters per second so that's what the discharge okay if you want to convert cubics to liter per second means metric cube per second metric cube to liters means just you multiple with a thousand you will get thirty three three hundred and thirty three liters per second so this is about the the another problem so this is how you have to use the crimson and brooks formula Okay, very simple problem for every problem they will ask either mannings or chassis or crimps or brooks formula okay so you have to use the respective what formula they asked respective formula you have to write it and simplify you should not use another uh, formula to determine uh, the q value and v value okay they will not give a single mark also so write note down the data whatever they are given and write down the respective formula and substitute and get the Whatever they ask it, the determine either Q or V or whatever. Hmm?